you with two dogs. When I sit on you, I wake up. I call unto you, Eloi, Eloi, the master of Antony. My Lord, why have you forsaken me? Did you not say that every good and bad that shall come from you alone? That you will never withhold anything good from your children. And that even if we evil men teach friends to our children, how much more you are heavenly father? Oh, but my Lord, you have relied on your word. Had it not been that you were just a powerful dog, I would have said that you are a politician. A slimy one at that. But I didn't say it, I said if. I asked you for a wife.
senior analyst for the Bureau of the National Investigation. Eh, uh, I know. And what do you analyze? If somebody wants dressing gowns, they got Listen, listen. I am not afraid of you. Huh? 
much to hate. Everybody needs someone to hate, not to. No, no. Yes. Maybe they don't hate you. Oh, you hate I do not hate you, Mama. Oh, that's good. I despise you. I love you. I abhor you. Oh, I hate you. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, sorry for you. Listen, you have been threatening to murder me for the past four years now. <laughs> First, you said that you would strangle me when I was sleeping. Then it was suffocation. Now, it's poison. <laughs> but you know as well as I do that all your threats are meaningless. One of these mornings, when you wake up dead, then you'll believe me. <laughs> wake up dead. Like, mm. Crying like a ten year old. Mm. You don't do this in the village. 
a lazy man. Uh, pardon me. Men of a species because you are not a man. And you two are no woman. Four years of marriage. And you have remained barren like a lava rock. I have a man to even send you back to your father. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Because I will tell him why I had no children. And that is because my husband hasn't had the confidence to consummate our marriage. Excuse me. Excuse me. This marriage was not my idea. No, was it mine, Kevin? But a man, a male, who cannot bring himself to sleep in the same bed with him. Ha! I should wrap this hey. that. <laughs> but the very sight of you itself fills me with such revulsion that the mere thought of even touching you. One. I'm even late for work and still no clean shirt to wear. Today is Sunday, you idiot. That's what I've been trying to tell you, but you are too obstinate to listen. Can't you even keep the days of the week straight? Oh God, God, why me? God, why me? A whole day with my charming adoring commando. God, why? Sweetheart, it is okay. Please rise to your feet. Rise. Now you have enough time to wash your own clothes. Hey! I am not washing those clothes. And for the seven hundredth time, I have ordered you, directed you, and commanded you to obey me once in your miserable life and wash those clothes. I will not. Eh? Hey, you will not. Okay. Then I will send you to the elders and tell them that four years of marriage, never once have you obeyed me. And you know what I can do to disobedient wives, especially women without issue. And I will tell them that you, Kevin, you are so weak, so impotent. That you have been unable to, in fact, perform your masculine duty. Ha! <laughs> Does it look like spaghetti to you? <laughs> ha? They will not believe me. Oh, they will believe me. They will. A simple examination will suffice. I should also tell them how you have used all my advances and they will deal with you properly. You would not. I will. Because that will only expose your own impotence. And you also not dare report me because it will also expose your incredible insubordination. Eh! What is subordination? I am getting tired of this. What is our nation, Kevin? I do everything in this house. I cook, I clean, uh -huh. I wash, uh -huh. I, I mop. Ah, in this 21st century, come on, Kevin. Take on washing of your clothes, sit down and wash it. How is that my fault? Hey, it's my wife not supposed to be doing all that, including my laundry. Oh, not that I know of. Hey. I know men, real men, who wash their own clothes. And give me the parties of that of your wife. And come and give me back from a fan one. Come and give me back.
what I have for. You have no idea. I single-handedly disabled the entire Iranian army and brought all of them, numbering thousands, to justice. Yes. I remember when the Americans were desperately in search of Osama bin Laden. With all their technologies and armies, they couldn't. I walked straight. <laughs> I missed all the fighting and faced Osama. He wanted to run, and I told him, Osama, if you move, I would move you. <laughs> Just there and then, he started begging. I even made him sign an autograph before I handed him over to the Americans. But of course, they wouldn't give me credit. Had it not been President Mama who called me and begged me to join the VNI, like I would have been away fighting people and telling them, if you move, I will move you. I will just come in and let us know. I'm going to give you the job, right? Thank you, sir. Oh, sir. 
Thank you yeah. very much, sir. You see, your room will be in the board for, over there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, you can, you can uh, go to your room. Oh. Your work starts now. I'll tell you your duties later. Oh, yes. oh, thank you very much, sir. May, may God bless you, sir. Amen. Oh, sir. Oh. Amen. Oh, may he make you tall, sir. Uh, what is it? What is it? Thank you. 
Finally, I get to live like a normal human being. Malcolm. Play acting is a tedious task. Malcolm. Uh, and what are you going to come for? I thought you said you don't want him in this in your house. As long as he's here, I will use him. Come, come. Come, come. Please hurry up and clean this place up. Make sure it's as clean and neat as it was before. Fatima. Fatima. What is it? Is that not supposed to be your job? Hey, I am not touching anything you and your talkative parents.
been a hard boy since company here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. Which match? You hate those. If I 
gone or is going to turn about and come. See, I don't know. Madam, how can a handsome man like you be ridiculing himself like that?
the clouds dance in the full glare of the scorching sun. I have seen the Iroko tree play tennis with the bats of the air. I have seen the eighth wonder of the world haunted by dreams. Gentlemen, so what's 
You know what I mean? A glass or a bowl? It should be a basin. It should be in a basin. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that, Mister. But Barista Michael, there's no need to worry, madam. You know, everyone, everyone has such unique talent in their own once in a while. Please, well. <laughs> Mrs. Uncle, I've known you for some time now. Your husband was a very good client of mine and my personal friend, you know. We played golf sometimes. My husband played golf? Yes, we did. Every Saturday. So please, accept my sincere and condolences. Thank you, sir. Um, <coughs> um, <laughs> Our eldest say, you know, my wrist. So we have, um, before Prince Richard. Mrs. Longdo. Your late husband instructed me to give this to you 24 hours after his death, even before his family hears of this demise. In this sealed envelope is a letter, confidential, no? He asked me to give this to you even before the world is read. My dearest Fatima. One thing that I have joined my ancestors. A wish you have harbored all your life. Indeed, you have shown me how unfair life is by being the complete opposite of a loving wife. I have no case against you. It must have been God's plan. By this letter, I am saying my final farewell to you to officially announce that I am no longer a part of your work your life. The death do us part, as what the vow says. Death has indeed parted us. If there is one thing I wish to be done, it is that you should go nowhere near my corpse. Only my parents and fellow comrades should. The bearer of this letter would instruct you about what to do. I want to be cremated and my ashes spread over the Atlantic Ocean. So you would have no memorabilia of me. In a few days after you read this letter, my cremation would be effected. I repeat, you are not worthy of seeing my corpse. Thank you for all the hatred. I am sure I will make it to heaven. If I do, I would pray for you to have a better heart. So you learn to have a choice in life. God gave you me for you to take it or leave it. You took and you left. Now, this is my wish. Take it or take it. Yours truly, Kevin Longtree.
Merci les dix. Oh, Fatima, you are such a big woman with an opposite brain and courage. <laughs>
shot wind and the wind shot. Hey, nothing! Nothing! Hey, where's the gun with the bullet is? Oh, look! But if you do not move, I
I'm a kitty fella. Oh no, not that. Say, you I... see, for a moment, I thought you had changed. <laughs> you are a useless man. Hey! I will kill you this time, and I... this time you will not come back. Oh, you put me ready, you witch. Hey! Oh, Shut up! You are a witch! You are a dirty girl! That's that! Black raster! You are a devil! Oh, you are a fool! Get out! You, I hate you! I hate you! I, I hate you! Get out of You, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! No, sir! You! Take it. Written by Nenis Okiedu and directed by Fano Pabi. <laughs>